right. Hi, everyone. It is me, Jordan Long here. And today, I'm going to talk about, you know, I'm going to talk about how you know how, well, my dealing with Kalistra, that's what I'm going to talk about. Well, why did the soul? Well, first off, my sword fell out of my hand. Well, that's sad. Well, Kalistro, you think you're going to put that sword back in? No, I don't think so. Because if I do, I don't think so. Because if I do put that sword back in, it's going to take a lot of time away from this film. Well. You ever hear, you ever know Kalistro, but some folks out there, I always think that you, you know, you behave like, that you know, always thought you were like mankind. Oh, in which ways? Well, because you had a hatred for Xena, just like mankind had this hatred for The Undertaker. And at least for you, Kalistro, there was a back sog or a back tail behind it. Where with mankind, I don't think WWE, I don't think WF or W ever came up with a back saga for mankind's hatred for the Undertaker. You know, I think you're right about that. You know. Um. We, what were the things that me and mankind had that were the same between each other? We were known to be crazy, nuts. You know, we like to go around and harm others and then and not say it was our mistake or say that any sinful and unlawful deeds that we did do was either Xena or the Undertaker's mistake and then guilt it all on them as something. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's right. Because Xena killed your kin or one of her fighters did it by mishap of some fire. Well, you guilted and you guilted and her for it, and then you'd go on to do sinful and unlawful deeds, believing that you were sinless, believing that no one could guilt you for anything, because it was all Zena's mistake, all my godmother's mistake. Just like I think how mankind was in his early days, he'd go and do things to folks, he'd say, "Oh, it wasn't his mistake," but. You know, yeah. Now, at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, you and Xena made up, atoned for each other's, uh, you know, forgave each other for wrongs you may have done to each other or did each other. And I like to think at the end of the day, the Undertaker and Mankind also, you know, forgave each other too. You know, you're funny about that because, but you know, I'm funny about that because that's how it happened. You know. So you're going to put that sword in your hand before we end this film? Oh, I don't know about that, Calistro says. If I do, Jordan, and tell me, yesterday, Sailor Moon makes a film and the lights are on. Now they were off because it was dark. I mean, it said it was cloudy. At least that's what the weather thing was saying. But it doesn't look cloudy out there. Yeah, that always makes a mistake. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll have to go and put, put the sword in my hand before we end this film. I wish that Toy... I truly wish that Toy Biz would have made it where you have some kind of holder or something to put the sword in. But they did not. Someone at Toy Biz is like, yeah, Cleistra never always hold her sword in her hand. She never had to have any, you know, holder or whatever you hold her. You know, fuck. Now my stand won't hold me up right now, Jordan says. Fuck, here's what I get for going back. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a good looking sword. Yeah, I wish that Toy Biz would have made you know, you to put the sword in the back instead of just holding, instead of holding it in your hand all the time. Yeah. But at least I could hold my sword in the hand, right? Yeah, I guess you're right, Kalistro.
Come on. <sighs> I, 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 I hate this. I do. Now this stands being being a, a, a come head now. Alright. If you like this film, then follow me over here at the Jordan Long Show. Well, you can't. The Jordan Long Fairway is, is the handle. That's what you're going to follow me with. If it works. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it don't. And if you like this film, then watch the other film I made yesterday over here. I, Jordan Long, and I'll see you later. Bye.